Euler's equation for fluid flow can be written as, rho multiplied by the material derivative of vector v with respect to time is equal to rho multiplied by vector g, minus the grad of p. What does this equation mean? Consider the following illustration. This is a fluid particle. The particle that was originally at rest becomes moving due to an external force. The resultant force is not equal to zero causing the particle to move with a certain acceleration. Mathematically, sigma f is equal to m times a. In fluid flow, this external force consists of two forces. The force on the object, f body, and the force on the surface, f surface. If in one unit particle the measure of inertia is mass, m. In a flow consisting of many particles, the measure of inertia is density, rho. Acceleration is the differential of velocity with respect to time. Here, we use the material differential, because the vector v consists of four independent variables, namely x, y, z, and t. The force on an object acting on a fluid is the gravitational force, rho vector g, identical to m vector g for a single particle. While the force on the surface is the pressure difference. Fluid particles move because there is a pressure difference between point 1 and point 2. From high pressure to low pressure. Because the final pressure is lower than the initial pressure, the difference is negative. Mathematically it can be written as minus grad p. Grad here is the gradient or rate of change of p. This is the writing of Newton's law in fluid flow, when the fluid flows without friction, or in a non-viscous fluid flow. Rho multiplied by the material derivative of the vector v with respect to time is equal to rho multiplied by the vector g, minus the grad of p. This material derivative can be decomposed into, rho multiplied by the partial vector v partial t, plus u partial vector v partial x, plus v partial vector v partial y, plus w partial vector v partial z. In 3D Cartesian coordinates, the vector v can be written as ui plus vj plus wk. U, V, and W are the vector components of the velocity on the X, Y, and Z axes. U, V, and W are also functions of the four independent variables, X, Y, Z, and T. The acceleration due to gravity G is also a vector quantity. In 3D Cartesian coordinates, the vector g can be written as gxi plus gyj plus gzk. The vector components on the x-axis. The vector components on the y-axis. The vector components on the z-axis. These are the equations that can be used in the process of calculating inviscid fluid flow through derivative analysis. Hopefully useful. And, don't forget to watch the next video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this, I'll always show up, and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.